Kelly Leach was expressing regret for being one of the conservatives attached to the controversial barbaric cultural practices tip line. And if I could go back in time, which I can't, I would change things. I would not have made that announcement that day. But just four months later, as a contender for the Conservative leadership, Leach now sees some value again in the debate around the integration of immigrants into Canadian society. Asking her supporters whether the government should screen for so-called anti-Canadian values, something she later attempted to define as intolerance towards other religions, cultures and sexual orientations, violent and or misogynist behaviour and or lack of acceptance of our Canadian tradition of personal and economic freedoms. Of course, the Canadian government already has a screening process for security threats and criminal wrongdoing for those coming into Canada. How beliefs would be further tested is not clear, nor is it something the Prime Minister says is necessarily valuable. The different points of view, the different perspectives uh, add to the richness of any community, of any society, and that is something that uh, is not just my belief, but as we saw in the last election uh, campaign, is very much a deep conviction uh, shared by Canadians. Leach's vague proposal was knocked down by some of her fellow leadership contenders today. I'm a product of immigration to this country. And my parents, along with millions of other immigrants, have helped make Canada a stronger place. In a statement, Maxime Bernier said that while Canadian values should be protected, I don't agree, however, that we should target immigrants with a values test. It is an unworkable way to determine people's beliefs. Respondents can answer anything. Deepak Obrai also weighed in for the first time. I am concerned that when you start asking questions of this nature, you are actually tapping into the fear of immigration that we have seen recently. An ideological certification to make sure that those we are admitting to our country share our values and love our people. If the ideas sound familiar, it's because they are. Whether it be in the U.S. election or in the aftermath of Brexit in Europe, talk of immigration and security seems par for the course. Britain's Prime Minister commented on it again today. When we come out of the EU, we will be able to have some control on movement of people coming from the EU into the UK, which of course was the one element over which we weren't able to have control before. Leach is promising to talk more about all this in the days and weeks ahead, but given the number of her Conservative colleagues and leadership contenders who are speaking out against her, she may be alone in that debate, which, Peter, may indeed be the political calculation here.